Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have some items to unbox slash unbag for you from a new to me company called Craft Art Club. They contacted me and wanted to know if I would try some items and share them with you guys. So let's see what I got. So I have two kits. I have that special item and this special item. So let's save the canvases for last and I will start with this item. These are some more keychains. Um, I had a lot of fun with the last ones. So these are unicorn ones. They're a set of unicorn ones. So let me get into the bag here. Sorry for all the crinkling again. So you get standard kit, you get the boat, the plate of wax, the pink pen, and you get your little keychain assembly pieces, your drills, and then your unicorns. So interesting it looks like these only get diamond painted on one side because this side is not sticky that is the side where they've applied the code so you know where to do it on this and then on this side i'm guessing let me see if i can peel this up with my, yeah on this side it's got the sticky or the cover so that you can peel it off and get to the sticky part so there's five different unicorns and they're all different so you get this one with its eyes closed, face front view. Here's a side view. Uh, this one is a side view with the eyes closed. Another side view, but it's a different main. And then a side view with the eye open. So you get these five um, keychains to diamond paint and all of the necessary accoutrement. And these are, I'm trying to find the price here. Looks like $6 and 60 cents. Uh, let's get into the drills here. Find, find the end of the plastic here. Ooh, it looks like there's some ABs in this, so that's fun. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors here. So no DMC codes, and they're all just letter codes to go with what's on here. So white, of course, they're unicorns. Uh, ooh, an AB yellow. Let me turn it this way so you can see. An AB yellow. And then we get to our crystal rhinestones. There's a kind of a sea green, a red, a turquoise blue, a light purple, a dark purple, pink, and then we have some special shapes. There's some deep purple in the marquee cut, and then we have some light pink hearts. So fun. That looks like it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really, I like that the ABs are included in there as well. So there are the unicorns. Let me move those out of the way. So we can open up the next item. And that is this. This is, excuse the crinkling again. This is a bookmark, I believe. So let's get it all out of here. Okay, so there's the drills. Again, standard kit, you get the green bow, the plate of wax, pink pen. And there's our tassel to attach to our bookmark because it has a hole at the top so we can put that through it. And then it is just this really cute kind of sunflower-y, mandala-y um, bookmark. And it feels like it's made of leather, kind of a, got a leather feel to it. It's flexible. So this would probably be something I seal as well as the uh, unicorn keychains just because these are things that are going to get a lot of use. Now, I don't know how useful some people might find bookmarks like these because with the, the raised uh, drills and everything, maybe that's not great on a book, but 
it can still just be something pretty to hang up as a decoration or whatever. So, and I really like the, the sunflowers. So let's look at the drills, shall we? And so again, these are going to be mostly special drills. So it looks like I've got eight or nine, well, eight. Ooh, so more ABs. Here is a uh, pearlescent AB, little little pearls to be used. So that is the outline of all of the flowers and then all of the separators for the petals. And then we have all of these crystal rhinestones. So we have orange, kind of a dark yellow, Kelly green, sky blue. Oh, we have these lovely kind of gold, light gold uh, marquee shaped ones. Some red iridescent uh, marquee shaped ones. And then these big ones are number eight. These big teardrop shaped with all of the lines on them. That's going to be very pretty. And again, these will both be very quick to do. Another reason that I like these kind of projects because they don't take very much time and you get that satisfaction of a job completed when you're finished. So I'll probably start the, the bookmark before I start that one. So we'll see. And I'll, I'll see how much time it takes to get to those. And the price on that one is $3.87. So that's actually pretty cheap for a bookmark. I'm really happy about that. Uh, okay, so then let's look at the canvases and see what I've got here. Again, I try to be so careful when I open these. I'm, I'm always in a hurry because I want to know what's in here, but I try to be careful because I don't want to cut anything by accident. It's okay if I cut the bag. I don't want to cut the canvas. Okay, put those little pieces of trash away. They're trying to stick to me. Okay, so, oh yes, I saw these and I was curious to see what they would look like. Um, so let me, let me share the rest of it with you and then I'll show you the canvas. So again, typical kit, green boat, plate of wax, pink pen, starting my, my, boat collection all over again. There's the drills. You can see some of those are special drills. But here is the canvas. This is a 30 by 40 as you can see. It is a partial. But um, I don't know if anybody, any of you have ever seen paper quilling. Um, that's what this is meant to look like. So paper quilling, of course, you take paper and roll it up and just a minute, I'm trying to flatten this out here. You take paper and roll it up and make, you know, flowers and designs and whatnot with it. And um, it's an old craft kind of art, um, but I've seen a resurgence of it. So um, I tried it once upon a time years and years and years ago wasn't very successful at it because it's too fiddly sometimes for me and I doubt my hands would be up to it these days but I like the way that it looked as a partial um, if you can see the thumbnail there so because it's a picture of a quilling you know it's got some of these nice shadows and stuff and then you just add the diamonds to it it's only got eight uh, crystals or drills, and it does have a um, ski, uh, schematic on both sides, one at the bottom and then one at the top. Let's measure this real quick. So it says 30 by 40, but I'm gonna guess it's probably, yeah, it's 24 by, let me unroll my, my measuring tape is getting all messed up here. 24 by, 24 by almost 34. So I'm losing about six centimeters for the edges on both sides that they give you so that you have something to hang on to while you're diamond painting. Um, so, 
but it is, like I said, it is a partial, but it is very sticky where the glue is placed. And it only has the eight. So, and I think it's gonna look really good. You can see some of these are gonna be really big. Um, these blue slivers, as well as these pink ones here, the middle of the flowers, um, and then all, all of the other small crystal rhinestones going around it. So let's see these drills. So again, there's only eight colors, so it's not going to take very long. And some of them are quite big. So, oh, that's a very pretty turquoise, light turquoise blue. It's a kind of a dark Kelly green again. Kind of a lime green or lime yellow. Some larger clear crystals. Some larger green crystals. Some large blue, which I'm assuming is going to be the middle of the flowers as well as these over here. The green teardrop shaped, which will be these here. And then these, oh, beautiful blue iridescent slivers, which will be, I'm assuming these little slivers kind of here and there. So again, another project that I thought would be interesting, um, not only because it's the paper quilling look, but because again, it's a fairly quick um, to do. So uh, it won't take me very long. In fact, I imagine this would take me maybe three or four hours to get everything completed. And I like projects like that. I can sit down while my husband is watching TV or whatever, and I can complete a whole project in an evening. So those are always nice and fun. I like those. Okay. And then my last one, oh, before I open that one, let me look and see how much that one was $5 and 77 cents. And that's the cost listed on the website. And it may have changed between now and then. This one is listed at $8. So is this a partial or a full drill canvas maybe that I ordered this time? I've looked at so many diamond painting, you guys. It's not that I don't remember what I ordered, but I've looked at so many of them that, and they take so long sometimes to get to me that, that by the time they get here, I'm like, what did I order again? Oh, yes, I remember this one. I saw this one and I thought it was really pretty. So let me, let me roll it the other way so I can get it to lay a little bit flatter. Get some of my mess here out of the way. Okay. Here's this one, ta-da. And I don't remember what this one was called on the website. I think I just titled it like pink flower or something. Let me get this to lay flat right here. It's got a little, it's got a little hitch and it's get along as my grandpa would have said. People say that anymore. We're not from Texas or anything. We, I, well, I can't say that. I was gonna say we've never owned horses, but my grandpa did own horses, so. My mom rode horses and owned a couple when she was younger, not when I was around. But anyway, I digress. Um, so this is another 30 by 40. This one was a full drill. And the reason I like this one, as you can see, it's one of those, what somebody coined bubble paintings. I don't know if that's an actual term or if I just stole that, but I understood exactly what they were talking about when they said it. So that's what I call them in my head now is these bubble paintings because it has all kinds of different sizes of drills. And so it kind of makes it look like little bubbles for effect once it's done. So here you can see the thumbnail of it. And it's just this cute little pink flower with this kind of Dalmatian design on one side and then this kind of pink design on the other. Um, but the bubbles in it just make it so fun. So I wanted to get it. So it says it's a 30 by 40. So let's measure and see if it actually is a 30 by 40. It is 24 by 24 by almost 34. So again, you're losing that six centimeters three centimeters on both sides because of the extra canvas they give you for the schematic and things. So this one has a few more colors, uh, even though it's pretty monochromatic. It is 14 and it does have a schematic on the top as well as the bottom. So you do get two of those. So that's fun. 
it is super sticky. And this one is, even though it's got special drills, it is a full drill canvas. So, uh, oh, I don't know if I showed you the kit. Same thing, green boat, plate of wax, pink pen. So there's that. Gosh, these all look like so much fun. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first. Probably still the bookmark, but they look like so much fun. Okay, lots of fancy drills in here. Okay, so again, 14. Let me find the beginning of it and we'll share the drills with you. This is a round drill kit, obviously. So I've got two bags of number one, which is just white. Um, it does not look like it has the DMC codes either on the canvas or on the bag. So that's unfortunate, but I'll make do. Okay, so I can see the back of these drills have some dimples, but the fronts that I can see look fine. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of trash in there, so that's good. So I've got a slightly larger white one and then an even larger white one. Then we've got some black, just plain black drills. I don't see a lot of dimples in those. Those look pretty good. And then we get to the rhinestones. So there's kind of a dark gray, smoky gray rhinestone. There is, are those all the same color? Three bags, yes, of number six, which is this pretty pink. So number six is mostly the background here. Like number one is mostly the background here. I don't generally like white backgrounds because I feel like white it draws attention to the gaps, but because this is kind of a higgledy piggledy, you know, they're not all in a line row type thing placement, then maybe it will be okay. So, so anyway, so I've got the three bags of that kind of berry pink color. And then that same color, I've got two bags of number seven, which are the larger or the mid size here. Six is the smallest, seven is the middle. And then I'm guessing this is number eight is more of the, um, that same pink, but in a larger size. And then there's some kind of old gold, yellow gold, some round iridescent pearls, some round iridescent glass crystals, some orange, more or yellow marquee cut, some iridescent marquee, and then some large yellow. And there's four of those, so I'm gonna guess that's probably the large J is 14J, yes. Is there only one? They gave me four and I only actually need one drill. That's crazy. So, so there you have it. There is my uh, items from Craft Art Club that I wanted to share with you. So uh, I will put links in the description below to all of these if you want to check these items out for yourself and or have a look around their website and see what other kinds of items they offer. Um, I will probably save this one for last just because it's a full drill, but definitely looking forward to getting started on all of these. So there's this one. Let me just pull the other ones out again. There is the paper quilling one. That is the partial. There is the rhinestone, or the rhinestone, the bookmark that um, is special drills. And then all of the lovely, cute unicorn keychains with their A, B, and other special drills. So uh, again, I will put links in the description below so that you can check any and all of these out. And a big thank you to uh, Craft Art Club for sending these to me so that I could share them with you. And yeah, that's it for me, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back to show you a little bit of a, a couple of finishes from my items from Craft Art Club. So first up, the first item that I finished was the bookmark. And you can see it turned out really well. I actually really like it. Now, again, I will probably seal this just because it's, you know, would see a lot of use as an actual bookmark and I wouldn't want things to fall off. Um, I don't know that I'm actually gonna use it as a bookmark though. It might be just like a display piece or something where I like set it up 
so that you can see it because I do really like it. I think it's really pretty and I like how it turned out. But I don't know that I personally would want to put this in a book where it's going to mark up my pages. Um, just the sheer weight of the book on it is going to put indentations in your paper. And so for that reason, mm, I don't know. But I'll, I'll find something to do with it, whether it's just displayed to be pretty or whatever. But it only took me a couple of hours to do this, attach the little tassel, and I think it turned out really nicely. I'm really happy with it. The other thing that I did was the unicorn keychains. Now, these are a little bit different in that you don't diamond paint the back, you just diamond paint the front side. And also a little different in that the eyes and a lot of the details um, are printed on this piece with the where the diamonds go. So again, these will get sealed because these things will see quite a bit of use and it's pretty easy to knock the diamonds off. So um, these will get sealed, but I think they turned out really well. Some of them had these cute little hearts um, in them and um, they're all different styles. Now I wasn't quite sure when I first did it whether I would like only diamond painting on one side because like you can see here none of the horn got diamond painted but actually after looking at them and, and sitting with them for a little bit I don't mind how they turned out. Um, these for me are just going to be cute little gifts that I give out um, or like little things I attach to like gift tags or something. So if I just give them out as little gifts or everything, I, you know, it wasn't, this one was the first one I did. And it, I think because of this one, <laughs> one little drill here, it looks kind of weird because you can see the smile and then the nose and the closed eyes, but I think it works fine on the rest of them. So, and like I said, these will be like little gift tags or just little gifts in and of themselves after I get them sealed. So I will seal, give them a quick seal, um, just to, you know, seal the diamonds down so they don't get knocked off because they will see quite a bit of wear and tear. I don't know that that will keep all of the diamonds on, but for now they're on and they look really pretty and I'm happy with how they turned out. So again, guys, I will put links in the description below so that you can check these and other items out for yourself from Craft Art Club. As always, guys, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.